here in Ithaca and actually across New York State and the Northeast and even down to the Mid-Atlantic coast, we're receiving wildfire smoke from huge wildfires that are happening in Canada. So the wildfires are burning hundreds of miles away, but due to the current weather patterns, the smoke is being blown down into our region. And so we're actually experiencing some of the worst outdoor air quality that there is in the world right now. One of the main harmful components of wildfire smoke is the small particles called PM2.5, which stands for particulate matter smaller than 2.5 microns. Uh, that size is much smaller than the width of a human hair, which is why you don't see the particles in the air right now. You just see the overall uh, cloudiness. Very small particulate matter can get into your bloodstream uh, when you breathe it in through your lungs and can actually spread throughout your body, causing a variety of health impacts. The best way to protect yourself from wildfire smoke is to go inside and close the doors and windows, use an air cleaner, uh, replace your air filters if you have central air conditioning and heating. Uh, if you are not able to get inside, uh, you can wear a tight-fitting N95 mask. But we also recognize that we need to have our local communities um, perhaps set working standards where perhaps we don't ask outdoor workers to do work uh, in certain uh, environmental conditions. As we're seeing uh, with the current wildfire smoke spreading across the whole East Coast, uh, this is really upending the conventional notions of who's at risk of wildfires. We all know that where there's fire, there's smoke, and now we need policy to match that observation that we all have. Uh, there's a lot of work that we can do from the local up to the national level to save lives and protect businesses uh, from not just wildfire flames, but also from wildfire smoke. And that's work that colleagues and I here at Cornell University are doing.